Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla's webinar. I'm Zoe. Today I will introduce Tesla's PPP service, TAP. TAP means Tesla's Advanced Positioning. It's a satellite based precise positioning service developed by Tesla's GNSS, which allows users to achieve centimeter level high precision positioning worldwide. I will, I will introduce from the following three parts. What is PPP and what are the differences between PPP and RTK? Tap performance. Why tap is your reliable choice? And based on the tap performance, we do some tests to show you more intuitively. First, Let's get to know something about the PPP. PPP means Precise Point Positioning. PPP uses a single GNSS receiver, unlike standard RTK methods, which use a temporarily fixed base receiver in the field, as well as a relatively nearby mobile receiver. PPP methods use permanent reference stations to quantify systematic errors. In order to better understand PPP, we need to know the sources of errors in GNSS provisioning, including satellite-related errors, such as satellite orbit errors, satellite clock, and the satellite free center of that. Uh, signal path related errors like ionospheric delays, tropospheric delays, and multi paths. And the receiver related errors like receiver clock, receiver phase center of death. Okay, then. How to eliminate these errors? RTK and the PPP adopt different strategies. Uh, generally, an RTK setup consists of two receivers, or one receiver connects to the cost service. RTK eliminates errors with spatial correlation through double differences method. However, please note that the farther the distance, the lower the spatial correlation of errors. So that's why the recommended working distance of RDK is generally 20 to 30 kilometers. Uh, and for PPP, it accurately models or estimates these errors. Uh, this table uh, will demonstrate how RTK and the PPP handle different types of errors. Uh, you can see here we mainly did some precise modeling or processing of the satellite related errors, such as the orbit errors, the clock errors, and the antenna phase centers. And uh, these two tables is just for your reference how RDK and the PPP process signal path related errors. And uh, receiver related errors. Uh, next, let's compare the differences between some features of RTK and the PPP. For operation, we know RTK needs to set up our base station or connect to the cost service. Uh, for PPP, only a single receiver, no need to connect to the network and easy to operate. 
For coverage, RDK works within local area, while PPP supports global coverage. RDK can quickly achieve centimeter level positioning in seconds and with fast recovery after differential data interruption. But uh, PPP needs about 10 minutes. The reconvergency time after the signal loss is almost as long as the initial time. Last about the privacy. You know, under RTK work mode, approximate coordinates need to be uploaded. While for PPP, there is no need to upload the GGA message to protect your privacy. Okay, now part two. Uh, why choose TAP? Why TAP is your reliable choice? Uh, for the whole working process of TAP, like this picture we can see, uh, first observe with the global GNSS reference station and uh, compute real-time GNSS precise orbit clock and the UPD correction. Lastly, we broadcast these corrections to the end user for a set of geostationary satellites by air band or over the internet. For tap service structure, we have two reference station networks, totally more than 100 geodetic reference receivers positioned on all continents. And we have two main network control centers with two back ones. Totally six uplink stations. All these six uplink stations operate continuously and efficiently uploading corrections to this GEO set night. Uh, with six GEO set nights to provide worldwide coverage. With this powerful configuration, we guarantee high reliability services. Uh, from, from this picture, uh, you could see that some errors are covered by three or four GEO satellites uh, can receive overlapping L band beams. For TAP, we recommend using it in the following scenarios. Uh, Marie Serene. As we all know that the biggest pain in Marie Serene is that it's impossible to deploy cross stations. Uh, if you connect to the reference stations on the shore, the working distance is limited. Now with TAP, we can obtain high precision positioning anywhere at sea. And uh, smart agriculture is becoming more and more popular. With TAP, you can easily realize autonomous, automatic plowing, sowing, spraying, and harvesting. And in autonomous driving, TAP is also a good choice to provide high reliability and high precision positioning. Also, there are some other applications according to your needs. For example, desert areas without network or area, areas not covered by cost or the mining area.
uh, anyway, tap here, tap there, and uh, tap everywhere. Currently, we have offered two products based on tap service, Oscar Tap and David30 Tap. Also, there is a tap service already in our NOAA software. Easy to operate just by clicking tap. This may be the tap performance parameters you are more concerned about. Signal tracking with about the four main satellite constellation. Positioning accuracy. Uh, generally, 3 cm in horizontal and uh, 5 cm in vertical. Convergency time, uh, 15 minutes, uh, even within 10 minutes sometimes. Coverage range global and the signal stability, 99.99%. Uh, here is a video we have posted on the Tesla's YouTube account, we can see. Another video test on our farm equipped with a tap receiver. Let's watch it.
Pussy. Good. Okay, next, I'd like to share some test results with you. Convert to Uh We kept receiver under continuous observation and restarted the receiver every one hour to reconvert. Finally, got a total of six sets of data. We can see the convergency time is about eight minutes. The test is on the roof of Tesla's office, uh, fifth floor. And uh, this test, uh, we kept the receiver observing continuously for 15 hours for checking tap values, stability, and the coordinate fluctuation. From this picture, we can see that it's very stable after getting PPP fixed solution and the plan accuracy, the right picture, is within 3 cm. Based on this test, we calculated some indicators as follows. Uh, the fixed rate is 98.87%. Horizontal standard deviation is 1.09 cm and the vertical value is 2.39 cm. The last test we compared with the RTK results. Uh, two David 30 tap receivers sharing the same antenna, our TRS AX4E02 antenna. One connected to the local cost. Uh, the coordinates are accurate and can be regarded as the true values. Another one worked under tap mode. Make them observe coordinates for a long time. Mm, in this test, of more than 10 hours. Used for accuracy statistics. A case may note that one week in advance, long term continuous observations have been made to analyze frames and the epochs of local cost and tap uh, to get the high precision conversion parameters. We calculated some indicators as follows. Uh, horizontal, horizontal difference between PPP and RDK is 1.03 cm and the vertical difference is 2.29 cm. Okay, the above is a detailed introduction to Tesla's tap service today. Uh, so, any questions? Uh, okay, if you have any uh, further questions about the price or about the technical questions, you can send an email to this address, sales and technical support. Uh, thanks for your time for attending this webinar. Have a nice day. Goodbye.